In this video, we're going to use a bandstop filter to filter a sound file. So what we need is MATLAB, Simulink, and the sound file itself. We're going to open up Simulink, and we're going to create a new file, a new Simulink file. Now we need a signal from Workspace block in order to in order to import our uh, sound file, audio file, into the into Simulink. There we go. So once the file is imported into Simulink, we need to adjust, change the name of the file. So over here, our, uh, in MATLAB, our file name is road3, so we're going to change the name to road3, and we're going to adjust the sample rate. Now, the sample rate is depending is dependent on your file. So if you have another file, you might want to adjust it to something else. So we're, we're going to put 44,000. So from here, we're going to search for an FFP spectrum so that with the spectrum we could see where the unwanted noise in the sound file is happening. So then later when we create the filter, we do it based on that. So I'm having a little trouble adjusting the blocks. So what you can actually do is you can connect the speaker to it and you can hear the sound and you will hear the noisy sound and then later on when you and you can you can't actually hear it in the in this uh, program that I'm using because it's not recording the sound coming from the computer but you can actually hear it through your speakers the noisy file and then afterwards once you filter you can out, you can listen to it again and it will be the clear file if you have done the filtering correctly so for this one I already wrote down the filter code to save time the filter is a band stop filter and it's 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 using the fir1 command and you can also search this in the mathlab help command and it will show you what each part each uh, each part of the function is so the n is the order of the filter the greater the order of the filter the the higher the more accurate your filter is going to be so we're going to use a 1300 order filter since this is this screen we can go as high as we want Uh, notice make sure to make these adjustments on your uh, FIR spectrum. So we're just going to go to decibels and then we're going to do one slide buffer. We're going to change the buffer size. And we're going to do box car. And the number of spectral averages we're going to put 30. So you can put 30 for yours. If it doesn't work, you can change it. And now once we play the file, this is the unfiltered file. And we're going to see what the unfiltered file looks like. The spectrum analyzer is going to show the file. Show the spectrum of the, of the sound file. As you see, there's a, there's a noise. At, at, a, at this certain frequency at about th 33 kilohertz there's there's a noise and and has a pretty high decibel reading compared to the rest of the file so when we create the filter we have to have this in mind and we, when we look at the filter the FIR filter specifications we can decide what our bandwidth is for this filter now when we run the filter we can actually see what the filter is going to look like and this is what the band stop filter looks like Zooming in, you see it's, a, it's just going to stop the frequencies between that are. It's only going to filter out the frequencies in that in that notch area. Now we're actually going to add the filter into into our Simulink file, and it's going to be the FIR discrete filter. Searching for the block, get block placed in between the sound file. And the speaker, but we're going to add a spectrum analyzer so that we, we make sure we clear that that noise from our file. You could just copy paste this block; all the specs stay the same this way. For this, the number of coefficients we're going to change it to H since we already have H defined in our filter and the filter that we have created. 
So we'll just change the value to age. There we, those two have to match. And then we can actually now we run the file and we have two spectrums. One is before the file is filtered out, before the sound file has been filtered out, one is after. We have to actually wait until the the sound file loads. And as you see, the window on the right has filtered out the sound. The decibel reading now is very low at that given frequency comparing these two and once you when you run the simulation the audio device will act you can actually just hear the clear sound and there's no additional noise with this.